Hello and welcome, friends and family and all light seekers. Those of you who came on purpose, those of you who stumbled upon me, welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space. Here there is love. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia here to do your daily pick a card. I really appreciate each and every one of you. We're going to do our thought of the day card from this cat tarot that I love and enjoy so much. It's so cute. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you in a such a big way. You guys, oops, I'm trying to shuffle the deck. <laughs> And so I have been calling out names of those of you who have been so supportive of me. Um, I'm dropping everything, guys. So let's just... Okay, you know what? Take a minute with me. Take a second here. and Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Yes. And feel as you breathe in. Feel all the tension release as you breathe out. And I feel much better now. Okay, maybe I'm going to stop dropping things. And I can mention um, that today is, well, okay, not today. It it It's the birthday of Molly and Jenna. Molly and Jenna are having a birthday here right near Sam Hain, where we are here. I want to thank Carrie Ozma. Martha, Mary, and Blade Song. I am really, really excited. I'm not even shuffling on camera. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm really excited <laughs> about all of you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate all the support that I've been given, and I am just um, very excited to do this. Um, let's go ahead and cut the deck and pull our pull our card of the day. Let me do one more shuffle here. I want to pull from the bottom. Sometimes I pull from the top. Sometimes I pull from the bottom. I think today I'm going to cut the deck and pick from the bottom. And we have La Page de... The, the Page of Wands. I don't know why I was doing a funny accent. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. You know what? Let me bring this page of wands up here and let's look at them for a second there okay so the page of rods is a youth usually and it's really good that he's upright because he can be someone who is bringing a message he can also bring he's also definitely someone who's very creative um creative in a lot of ways and also I'm really I'm feeling very much so that this person is someone who has a lot of energy um the page of wands um one of the things the page of wands does is the page of wands gets a really really good i it gets a really good idea about a project some inspiration and so that's what this thought of the day is about is inspiration about a project um so just Keep your mind worrying. Talk to people about it. If you don't even know what we're talking about, if you don't know what project you might be getting ready to start, um, start with what kind of theme would you, what would you like to put out into the world? Maybe you already have an idea and that's, that's great. Go ahead and nurture that idea because um, this is not a timeless video. So I can say that we are coming up here on a big blue moon during Samhain, very exciting thing. So you really have a lot of time, a whole month, to really germinate and manifest. Make the plan, do the action. First make the wish, then make the plan, then do the action and feel the passion and it'll get you there. Okay, that is a really great thought of the day. Let us go ahead and talk about our card toppers here. So we have <clears throat> we have this gorgeous wow i'm saying wow because this the energy coming off this rock is very different than what it felt like yesterday and the day before so that's exciting it's very warm 
And the thing is, is it's not terribly warm in this room right now. So, <clears throat> that's that one. This one actually belongs to uh, someone else. And when I say someone, I mean a little fetish that enjoys turquoise. <laughs> and so, I um, have taken responsibility to feed if you don't know what a fetish is, let's see. Let's see if I have, where, where is he? Where has he gone? He's around here somewhere. I'll show him to you later. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. You can go ahead and look it up on Google or, because there's a little bit to what a fetish is. <clears throat> okay. So right here is our selenite. It's our regular selenite. Sometimes I do show you the rose selenite see how light refracts it grows in these big bars this is just like a chunk of bar cut off so it grows in these long wand like um things so that you you know you understand that that is uh i don't know very exciting and this is just as beautiful this little chunk i just feel sad that it was broken off but i always have little feelings about rocks and plants and any living creature and I know some of you don't think of rocks as living I know and then we have this other pyramid here and we'll show you some of the symbols on it um this one I don't quite know what that one means yet um <clears throat> they're all ancient symbols they're all um you know, some people have a hard time with the star because they've been told it's evil. The thing is, it's been around a long time and it means a lot of things. Um, one of the main things it has to do with, for me, is humanity or humanitarianism or... Anyway, we could I could go on about all the symbols except for that one, but we're not. We're just going to go ahead and... Take all the time that you need. If you need to pause the video right now in order to pick your card, please do so. I um, also want to, uh, again, give a shout out to Molly and Jenna. And I hope they're having a wonderful, happy birthday. Uh, okay, so do subscribe. Do hit, the, do hit the thumbs up if you like what you see. If you're not into it, hit the thumbs down. And that won't hurt my feelings. In fact, I get excited about every thumbs up and every thumbs down. As I said, I just feel a very real, real connection with you guys. And and when you reach out to me and make a comment, it, it's just, it just means so much to me. Um, so let's look at the card that is under the Knight of Swords. So here's the thing about the Knight of Swords. Um, it was, it was right side up, so we're not worried about the negative aspects of it, but the Knight of Swords is, has come up upon, uh, come upon something and he needs to make a decision. Now, swords often make quick decisions, but you don't have to. Okay. And in fact, that's not what he's doing. He's pondering. It's good to have all the information before you actually strike. And that's what the Knight of Swords does. The Knight of Swords gathers, gathers the information, and then he makes a surgical strike um, when he figures out what it is that needs to happen. He does it quickly and painlessly as possible. And so your message today, along with the Page of Wands, is to go ahead and take time and look at what you have in front of you. Think about how you want to execute getting manifesting this year because um, with this blue moon and the next 28 days thereafter and the blue moon is on Halloween October 31st which is tomorrow no today it's today <laughs> okay cool okay so the knight of swords uh yeah so that's your message today go ahead and sit on it get all the information before you make a decision about whatever question it is you're asking. If we were doing this as a private reading, I would be clarifying with more cards. But we are moving on to the next card under the Selenite. 
And we have the Queen of Cups, and there she is. She is the beautiful. She is the one to me that represents um, Mother Mary the most. One is that she's holding a holy chalice um, in her hands. Um, she she's a queen that will get down and work beside her people. She loves her people. She's all about her people. And when I say her, it, 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 it can be a he, it's not necessary. She's not, they're not necessarily female. Um, there is a warning with this card because it was that way when I drew it. And that is sometimes she can be a little smothering, a little controlling and manipulative, but all for good and love. But your message is to take care and lay off the manipulation today. You might be saying, I don't, I don't, I never manipulate. That's fine. Not everybody does. And maybe you don't, and that's fine. And in that case, I would just say, be careful of, be, be very aware of the people that you love and how they're feeling around you today. They may be feeling a little smothered. Um, they may just need some breathing space. And we all know your intentions are, wonderful and that's who you are is you someone with a big heart and that is your card let us see what we have under the fetishes turquoise i'm not going to tell you his name <laughs> you have the eight of pentacles again with this card you saw that it was upside down when i picked it up it was upside down when i drew it so it does come with a little bit of warning Maybe you're, okay, this, the pentacles behind him, and when we see the card right side up, it represents, oh, you've been working hard, and you're going to get a good payoff. When it's upside down, it means kind of the opposite. You've been spinning your wheels, you're not doing your best, your work may be mediocre, and there's not really going to be a, much of a payoff for that. That is basically the message. I hate to be so blunt. But I guess if I were going to assign something to help you get out of this rut is to think about that project that you, we have over there with the Page of Wands. And if you didn't hear the intro or the thought of the day, then you might want to go to that so that you can hear more about that. Um, yeah, you can get yourself out of this. You are the master of your own universe. And I do need another sip of cuppa. I have iced coffee this time. So you can hear the, mm, the ice. Mm, that is very refreshing. Mm. Okay, and here we have this unusually warm Howlite Temple Pyramid. If you picked this one, this is your card today. The Eight of Swords. Um, grief, despair, sadness. This is all about feeling that unashamed, unashamedly. Let yourself cry. Let yourself grieve. Right now, tis the season. Sam Hain, as I said, Halloween, where the veil is thin, and we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can communicate with those that have passed. There are lots of ways to do that. Um, sometimes it's just in our hearts. We can hold ourselves and we can have a conversation in our mind with that person. And it's not the same. And it might even make you angrier or it might make you sadder. It might make you cry more. So if that's not the message you need to take with you, that's fine. I'm not going to integrate the Page of Wands with this right now because grief is a very personal thing. Um, 
it is for a lot of people, but it's also a very profound and shared experience among many. It's not something we can see about a person just looking at them from the outside many times because we do tend to hide those emotions. Sometimes we are ashamed of them. Don't be ashamed. And that is your message for today. Um, I hope that this reading was what you needed to hear today. Please do take what resonates with you. But if something doesn't sit right or it doesn't feel right, you can just leave that right here at my table. You do not have to take any of this with you. What I hope is that you have found some hope and connection. Don't make life-altering decisions or changes based on any pick a card, not even this one. And do connect with me on my other social media platforms. I will have them listed in the description below, along with the cards used today. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time.